and today we're going to be canning up some dried beans. Now you wonder, dried beans? Why? They're perfect storage item, right? Actually, no. Dried beans actually do have a shelf life. Granted, it could be up to 25 years, but then they're no good anymore. And in the case of a power outage, how would you cook them? So we're going to go ahead and can them so that they're ready to cook. What you're going to need are your dried beans, and I've soaked them overnight, rinsed and drained them. You're going to need some really awesome pint jars. And these are the colored jars from Ball. The weight of a woman's heart. Colored jars. I told my director that. He didn't believe me. Give him a thumbs up if you think so. You're also going to need a funnel. A scoop to put the beans in. Boiling water. And brand new lids. Now you don't want to reuse lids when you're canning because the seals could fail. You're also going to need a damp rag to wipe off the lids. Let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is just scoop the soaked beans into the jar. Fill in the jar about two-thirds to three-fourths full. And then we're going to add boiling water. And we're going to leave about an inch of head space on the jar. Now if you look at the jar, that first thread right there comes down. The bottom most part is one inch of head space. And as you go up, that's a half an inch, all the way up to a quarter of an inch. So the jar has a half inch of head space. We're going to take our damp rag and carefully wipe off the lid. Even if you don't think you spilled anything on it, it's always a good idea to make sure there's no grease or food left on it. Otherwise the seal could fail. We're going to take our clean new lid and our band. And we're just going to screw this on finger tight. Okay, we're going to get these all filled up and then we'll take them out to our pressure canner. Okay, now we've taken our beans. They're all processed and ready to go into the canner. And I've got two pressure canners. This is my outdoor cooking stove. It's too hot to actually pressure can these inside the house because that adds a lot of heat and humidity. So we're going to do this outside. Now I'm going to add the lids and we're going to set the pressure. This is just an old, these are just old Presto canners that you can actually buy at Walmart for like $65 or on Amazon. We're just going to line the arrows up. And then close the lids. Now I'm not going to add the rocker, which is this part, and that amount of pressure, until I see steam coming through the top. As you can see, it's still kind of cold. So we're gonna let this get warm. The water boils inside and we see steam rising from the top. We're gonna let the steam rise for about five to 10 minutes and that'll help build the pressure in there faster. And then we'll add the rocker. So we'll check back in just a few minutes. Okay, so now we've had to bring the pots inside because mother nature decided to start pouring just after I got the pots rolling. As you can see, the steam's been rising on this pot. This one had already started going, so we put the rocker on that, but I wanted to show you. You get the steam, and it's been going for about 10 minutes now, so it's a good, strong, steady spurt of steam. That means there's enough pressure in there, and the seal is working. So we're going to go ahead and add the rocker, and it's just a plain rocker with the 10-pound weight on it. Beans need to be pressure canned at 10 pounds pressure, and they're going to be canned for 45 minutes, and we're going to start once the rocker starts rocking like that. Then we'll set the timer for 45 minutes and let the pressure canner cool. We'll check back as soon as the canners are cool and I'll show you the canned beans when we're done. Okay, our beans were pressure canned for 45 minutes at 10 pounds pressure and we turned the heat off and we're letting the pressure canner cool of its own accord. If you look at the top of the canner, there's a little overflow valve and when that falls back down, that means the canner is cool enough to open. 
The canner is still going to be very hot and there's still going to be a lot of steam coming out. So you want to be careful when you're opening it. We're just going to carefully take it like that and open away from us. As you can see, steam is going to rise. And because the jars in there are going to be very, very hot, we're going to use a canning tongs to remove them. And I'll just set them right here on this little shelf next to the stove. So that way they can cool for another 24 hours. Some of the jars are not completely sealed yet, but that's okay. They'll seal as they cool. Once we've let the jars cool a little bit, we're going to test the seals and I'll show you how to do that when they're cool. And then we're going to carefully remove the bands, wipe them off, and they're ready to be stored. Okay, we've given our beans a chance to cool and now we're going to test the lids. What we're going to do is just press on the lid. If it does not bounce back, the lid is sealed, we can take the band off. And you do not want to store your canned foods with the bands on. I'm convinced that there's possibilities, and many people will support that, of what they call a false seal. Sometimes a seal can pop up, but if the band is still on it, it'll actually kind of almost reseal, but it won't be a proper seal, and botulism can set in. So we're just gonna take the bands off of all the jars and set them in our pantry. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again. Have a great night.